you know, today it's just. Was there anything like, you know, be a second round pick or was there anything? Yeah, it was, it was, it was talks between second, third, you know, but it ain't no telling until you get out here and they, people actually see you uh, produce, which I wish I would have been able to go out on the field and, and, and compete because if we're coming from competitors, you know. What are they telling you? Uh, Achilles is a long term thing, isn't it? Um, just depends on the person. Will you be ready for training camp? Yes, sir. So, Felton, how have you approached this NFL Combine experience? Uh, the opportunity of a lifetime. You know, it's something that everybody don't get a chance to be able to do. And even with dealing with that I got injured, I still got the opportunity to come out here. So taking advantage of every opportunity. How difficult has it been to persevere through that injury and still believe in yourself to get to the next level? It's been tough. Uh, that's just, I said one of those things where you got to shine a positive light on everything that, that, that comes on to what did Michigan State teach you through this process to get to this point in your career? They've been, they've been preparing us for adversity our whole career at Michigan State. That's what Coach D and Coach Manny they do. They put us in extreme tough situations and, and, and watch the tough man. How would you describe what it would feel like for you to have your name called come drop day? A dream come true. That's something that we all dream about here. You know, and I know me personally dealing with what I dealt with and that probably is it. That's how you see a grown man cry. What are, your, what are your draft expectations? I mean, do you still think you'll, you'll get drafted? Yes, sir, I believe uh, my film speaks for itself. You know, injury or not, you know, my film speaks for itself. Uh, you can turn on any game and watch it, and you see a team making plays all over the field. And, and can you describe again? So you said you were in your room. Are you, you share an apartment? Or what, what, yeah, I share an apartment. I, I share an apartment with three people. You know, but it's like it like kind of like wings. So like me and Daryl on the same wing yeah. side of the apartment, and then Raekwon Williams and Trey Persons on the other side. So you just keep your door locked the whole time. Like, yeah, it wasn't locked. It was just closed. Uh, could you give me a little insight into Justin Lane and Kari Willis? Yes, sir. It? Willis, they're they're coming out this year, secondary mm -hmm. guys. What can you tell me about both of them? Uh, starting with Kari, you know, uh, me and Kari came in to Michigan State together. You know, and I thought like he wanted one of those guys who actually lean, I leaned on too throughout my process. But football wise, great, great football player, smart football player. I feel like one of the probably the smartest safety here at this at this combine, you know. And I personally gave him comparisons before we even got here to Earl. You know, I tell him he played look like him, play like him, everything and you see him making plays all over the field and with him and Justin. We all used to compete in practice. That's how you get better. That's Michigan State mantra, iron shop and iron, you know. So we don't we don't do ones on twos and twos on ones. It's always ones on ones. You know, the best on the best, you know. So that's how we do things and, and, and Carr, I feel like he's one of those players that you know, he get a shot.